Hello and welcome to National Focus. I'm your presenter, Moving Matthew. Thank you for joining us. Coming up, CARICOM chairman gets a first-hand look at damage caused by Tropical Storm Erica. Caribbean Development Bank reaches out to victims of last Thursday's storm and the International Organization for Migration, the IOM, currently conducting a needs assessment survey in Dominica. Details of our headline stories and others after this. Thank you for staying with us. CARICOM Chairman and the Honorable Prime Minister of Barbados, Frendel Stewart, after spending all of Wednesday in Dominica, has described his experience as astounding and shocking. Prime Minister Stewart landed at the Kinfield Airport on Wednesday morning and from there was taken on an aerial tour of the island. At a press briefing later that day, he spoke both in his capacity as CARICOM Chairman and a friend of Dominica. He revealed that CARICOM nations have been advised by the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, CIDEMA, to consider donating a 100,000 US dollars each to Dominica's cause. Having received that information, I gave instructions to the Minister of Finance of, of, of Barbados that that 100,000 US dollars should be made available to Dominica as soon as possible. And of course, uh, we will put all the machinery in place necessary to ensure that that money is received in this country uh, post haste because we, we recognize that this is money that is needed to try to get this country back on its feet and to get uh, some normal series restored to the lives of our people. Honorable Stewart's stance is that included on the list of factors which unite Caribbean sister islands is natural disaster. They have caused great distress and wrought great devastation across this region. And that's why we have to stand in solidarity with one another because it's Dominica this time around but we don't know whose turn is next. Because On the subject of recovering from natural disasters, Stewart made reference to the Caribbean Catastrophe Risk Insurance Facility, a fund designed to meet the short-term liquidity needs of small island states in the aftermath of natural disasters. Both Barbados and St. Lucia have benefited from that fund. When we put those mechanisms in place, in the very short term, they, they, they deal with some of our more uh, pressing exigencies. But we need a, a larger and more reliable framework in place to deal with our natural disasters so that what for other countries is a sprint back to, to normalcy can, be, can become for us a sprint too rather than a long fatiguing marathon. The CARICOM chairman wishes however that developed countries which contribute largely to the greenhouse effect would pay closer attention to its impact on small islands. CARICOM intends to put those issues on the international table at the United Nations Climate Change Conference to be held in Paris at the end of this year. The CARICOM chair on a more personal level addressed Dominicans soliciting their patience in what he anticipates to be a long road ahead, a road which includes necessary reprioritizing and policy restructuring. So we cannot take these, these, these situations lightly. I've been very pleased on this occasion to see the, how quickly the people of Dominica have adjusted to this, this new reality, the, 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 the effects of Tropical Storm Erica, and are trying to get their lives back together, as has been pointed out, and it has to be repeated that this is going to take some substantial time. What I saw today is going to take some substantial time to to repair, and I think the people of this great country uh, will have to show enormous patience and resilience uh, as the march back to a quality of life that corresponded to what happened, or what, what existed before the 26th of um, last month um, 
get back to that quality of life is going to be a very, very long, long journey and will require enormous patience. The Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt's Curry chaired the briefing in the Cabinet Room. The event was also attended by CARICOM Secretary General Ambassador Irwin Larocque, the French Ambassador to Dominica, and other high level officials of both Dominica and Barbados. The government of Japan has contributed towards efforts by the WASCO to provide potable water to nationals following the passage of Tropical Storm Erika. Japan's official development assistance donated a number of collapsible water tanks, each with a capacity of 1,140 imperial gallons. Edward Regis is public relations officer of the WASCO. These storage tanks will be installed at various locations within communities to allow residents to access water for domestic use and I have to emphasize that it would be a limited amount of water for their domestic use. The installation of the tanks will commence today and the WASCO will truck water to these tanks as necessary and we're beginning in the communities of Girodel and Egliston today um, to install these tanks and later on we will install in other communities. The government of Dominica and the WASCO thank the government of Japan for this timely donation which will assist greatly in providing water to communities where water outages persist in the aftermath of Tropical Storm Erica. Now I also have to say that um, we are also receiving um, from the Japanese government um, the same tanks to be to begin installation in the communities of Kolibistri and Koliho and um, these areas there which which have not had water since the passage of um, Tropical Storm Erica because our intake at Kolibistri has been um, washed away and um, you know and we have to take some time to restore water in that area. With word of pending inclement weather conditions on Friday as a result of the remnants of Tropical Storm Grace, the Dawasco officials had this advice for consumers. We want to advise Dominicans to keep water in storage and to do so early so that they will have water for their domestic use because if Tropical Storm Grace does affect us, it may most likely affect our very vulnerable systems. All the systems that we have um, restored continue to be very vulnerable. Some of them are temporary, some of them we still have a lot more work to do to fully restore the supply. So we want to say in preparation for Tropical Storm um, Grace that residents should keep water in storage and to ensure that they do all preparations necessary. Um, for the passage of that storm. A public health specialist in the Ministry of Health, Dave Loda, is impressed with the extent of assistance provided to the Ministry of Health following the passage of Tropical Storm Erika. Loda made special mention of the Pan American Health Organization, which is playing a major role in the recovery efforts. On Wednesday, the organization donated four tons of medical supplies to the Ministry of Health. Health has become not just a national issue, but um, issues of health is, is international in the sense that what affects one affects the other. And so there is a, an international collaborative approach in, in how we deal with issues like this, particularly in times of crisis. And so we have seen assistance coming from a range of countries, a number of countries and organizations and key to this has been the Pan American Health Organization. Loda also explained to GIS News that actions were taken together with regional counterparts to assist health professionals who have worked tirelessly in the aftermath of Tropical Storm Erika. Most of our health facilities are intact and those that have been affected are being taken care of as we speak and um, the F all efforts have been made to bring them back to functionality. Um, the key issue though has been how this has impacted our health personnel because a lot of them um, did sustain loss um, at their homes as well as um, with their families sustained loss as well. And so these persons have been called on to, to respond to persons who have been affected yet they themselves are being affected. And so um, what we have seen happening um, in the last couple of days is that um, quite a number of healthcare professionals have been brought in from St. Vincent, um, we expect two from St. Martin, we have from Guadeloupe, St. Lucia, BVI. BVI. So all of these health professionals are here to assist and in many instances 
our healthcare professionals are given an ease to go home, take care of their family business, recuperate and come again. Okay, so we, um, this regional, sub-regional collaboration has been extremely good with respect to our healthcare professionals. So, um, in terms of the, the healthcare, um, that has been on the top agenda and we have spared no effort. We are working day and night to ensure that the services are brought to the people and that our people can um, gain confidence in, in themselves and in the system again. You're watching National Focus more when we return. Welcome back. The Caribbean Development Bank on Thursday reached out to victims of Tropical Storm Erika. Bank officials reached out first to residents of Paradise Valley in Bava State who are still picking up the pieces after major flooding from last Thursday's disaster. Daniel Best is Portfolio Manager, Economic Infrastructure Division at the Caribbean Development Bank. We are a, a, a multicultural uh, bank. We are made up of, we have staff members from Dominica and, and we also have staff members who aren't from Dominica but have relatives in Dominica so we, we felt the impact of Tropical Storm uh, Erica at a very deep, at a very personal level and, and, and staff de decided that we, we have to do something outside of the, the typical bank initiative of grants and lending and, and decided to give from their own resources to, to support us. So we just hope that you know um, this can go somewhere to, to building back the livelihoods and pro providing some life chances for individuals who have been impacted here at Paradise Valley. Presentations were also made to residents of Petit Savan who are now temporarily housed at the Dominica Grammar School. The International Organization for Migration, the IOM, is currently conducting a needs assessment survey following damage caused by last Thursday's storm. GIS News caught up with two of the officials on a site visit of Paradise Valley in Bafa State. Nafali Hanley is National Project Coordinator for the Caribbean. The Director General has um, uh, indicated to the Minister of Foreign Affairs that we are donating 100,000 US dollars from our emergency fund. Um, and so we're here to, to assess the needs and see how we can best support Dominica with its recovery and relief. We met with the PS um, from the Ministry of National Security and this morning we had a look at the, um, the Dominica, uh, is the grammar school, um, to have a look at the shelter. We're now here in Bartha State, we're going to continue on some more visits with Mr Fontaine um, and hopefully this afternoon we should be able to see some more impacted areas, potentially meet with the Ministry of Housing if possible and then we'll see. The resilience of those affected by Tropical Storm Erica continues to impress those visiting the island as part of relief efforts. Power official Fais Dos Santos and Major Clements Butter of the Royal Netherlands Marine Corps spoke with GIS News on Wednesday about their impressions of the spirit of Dominicans, especially in the most hard-hit areas. I think that, you know, when any disaster happens, when any emergency happens, you just have an opportunity to see um, tremendous shows of courage and resilience and that's what we're seeing. There's just a lot being done and a lot of people pulling together to help in the response. I was really amazed by the destruction, uh, uh, how heavily it is. If you see the rivers and uh, the enormous uh, rocks and uh, the trees and the devastation is just, just unbelievable. Uh, on the other hand, what really struck me is the, uh, the motivation of the local population. Uh, we speak to people, they lost everything. And I asked, why are you still smiling? And they were like, well, because I'm still alive and I want to do reconstruction and build up a new future again. So that is something we're, we're really going to take away as well and makes an impression of, on our guys uh, as well. And that's the English news. Mark for St. Louis is next with the Creole highlights. Hello tout le monde, bienvenue à ce nouvel en créole, non moins c'est McPherson Saint-Louis. 
Premièrement, l'office météo Dominique et Chouy ont communiqué qu'à concerner tant là pour Dominique et puis pays les Antilles. Selon l'information qui obtenait, un tropical wave South Remnants of Greece qui a affecté pays là. Tropical wave sans là qui pour devenir autant la pluie et puis le rouge qui a commencé au soir là qui a allé bonheur demain bon matin. Information qui a aussi montré que dès pour 3 pouces la pluie qui est tombée, bagaille qui peut affecter tes pays là qui déjà bien molle, ça a été saturé. L'office météo a avisé les résidents qui tout pour l'occasion de la et puis moi, finalement, quand il peut défaler, quand ça monte, si vous avez un garde, quand il bien molle, connexion là, mais qu'à expecter 12 pour 24, n'hésitant encore, et puis l'âme qui tout pour 7 pouces. En même temps, chef d'office des As Don Corrient, qui a fait parole qui a eu des gens qui ont eu l'occasion qui ont eu l'occasion low lying areas pour évacuer quand Dominique a posé le système cool de Grace. Corrient a eu assez de gens pour suivre le web a échoué ou l'un des mauvais cool de Erika. Et des affaires où Erika a causé des dommages, dommage, il n'a pas été fait sa fête pour cela. Corrient dit qu'il a bien mal, ça a été content, ça a été la vie est bien vulnérable et puis il ne peut pas prendre autant de l'eau pour la cause de dommage. Plaisir l'occasion en saut de pays qui évacue ensemble et puis l'occasion West Coast pays là. En d'autres nouvelles, compagnie de l'eau de Wasco a fait par Wall qui est mauvais content, Erika, bien dommagé le système de l'OPA. C'est l'officier public. Edward Regis, il qui prend petit à temps avant le système de la vie normal. Magoué travaille yo, ka travaille bien oued. Eh bien, Erika a même pas traité nous bien pièce. Pièce, 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 pièce. Il a affecté le um, système de la vie. Et ni moun ki ka di, ok, um, c'est différent, utilité a, yo j'a retourné, on peut dire yo j'a retourné, presque tout un pays a. Mais, yo même, um, biten yo, en l'élè. Mais ça, Damasco, en bâté, on ne peut comprendre que parce que ce pipe nous en bâté, c'est là, c'est là, il vient passer, c'est là, tout le temps passé, il va y dommager, il mouvre. Comme ça, il va y prendre notre zinc plus de temps pour nous, ça, pour tuer le glow dans différentes communautés. Des trois communautés, il va y aller, il va y aller, il va y aller, il va y ça oui vé en ces communautés ça des fois en place c'est c'est pas il plaît yo 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 il là il vient laver yo il veut aller des fois en place c'est une tique là il lave une tique là il veut aller il veut comme ça nous nous tapons en pile dommage même système nous avec nous qui travaillons bien ouais bien ouais moni pour bad bravo bah c'est 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 normal qui travaille bad avasco parce que yo j'ai fait un pile travail même avec mon carrément des bons dieux souple pour ne pas amener um, l'autre culte, parce que s'il si fait ça, il peut dommager nous encore. En la nouvelle, le ministre de l'Éducation et de communiqué qui plaisait l'école à uh, tout le monde dominique qui ouvre l'aide. Selon le ministre de l'Éducation, honorable Peter Saint-Jean, il a pris une décision pour envoyer la date ou la ligne de système de Grèce qui a affecté le pays. Honorable Saint-Jean dit qu'il a pris une décision pour étudier un pas de en situation même pendant le culte Erika. Et de yon de l'école paquet ouvert qu'on piche l'un Delis, Jones Boupier, Coulibistri, Colio et puis l'école première Wozo. C'est l'école sans la que West Femme est juste en l'autre annoncement. Ministre d'éducation mette tout mise en place pour système de l'eau en l'occasion. Ça c'est l'école qui était affectée. Et aussi qu'à courir pour coopération en IFO Sala. Et puis finalement, Chairman Karekom et puis Premier ministre Babad Frondel Stewart. Qu'a fait parole qui carré comme Epi Babad, Kadou Bout en solidarité Epi Dominique en tant que trois Kassala. Stewart fait parole cela pendant une visite officielle de Mikwede. Premier ministre Stewart T en Dominique pour voir dommage qui Eric a causé. Et de carré comme bien parole pour assister Dominique with Bati. Stewart dit Dominique qui prend un long temps pour vivre et puis c'était bagay si vous êtes tapé priorité pendant le pays à vivre de Bout. Premier ministre Stuart de Dominique sa compte à ce si pour Karikam et puis Babad. Premier ministre a dit qu'il a déjà une instruction pour le ministre de l'Argent Babad fait available 100 000 dollars US pour Dominique. Plaisir d'autres pays ont la terre qui a venu devant assister Dominique. 
oui bâti. Mais si mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nous faire la croyance pour la prison. Le moins c'est ma force, c'est de l'os. Au revoir. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website at news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow us on Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News Production team, I'm Mervyn Matthew. Thanks for watching and join us again next time for National Focus.